Welcome if you're new. My name's Tracy and this is Floss Tube number 148. This past two weeks hasn't been too bad. Um, I actually had a new start, a naughty new start. I did say no new starts this year and I've probably had a bit of a handful of them so far. Um, I kind of have a second new start, but it's already half finished. It's a whip that I've adopted. No. Yeah, I've adopted it. I've got to finish it and then send it back to the lady. <clears throat> it was already kind of, I think whoever stitched it has done the top half first and then the second page is the bottom half. And that's what needs completing, so I'll show you that as well. But I've got three stamped, two, three, five counted cross stitch kits. That I've touched this week. One, is it just one? Yeah, one of those is one I haven't touched in quite a little while actually. So I'm just going to jump straight in and share with you what I've been up to this past two weeks. And the first one I'll show you is this one. It is my Over the Moon Mystery Cell by One Point Mind. So this was September's block. And I think the border across the top is September's as well. Luna, will you get out the blinds or is that Binks? It's letting the light in. I've shut the blinds just because the sun is glaring through the front room window today. And Binks is sitting there holding the blinds open. So yeah, that's where I should be at. So you can see the sun glaring now. Binks, go that way. He's not long coming. Right, so let me share that one with you now. I have actually done, let me just check, 2000, yeah, 2064 stitches. Thank you, Binks. It's gone the other end. I had to check that. Whoa, don't. So this is where I am at. I finished this back border across the bottom. I was probably somewhere here. Not entirely sure. I've done this little box at the bottom that they all have and then all of this moon and uh, I think that back looks awesome in there so I've just got to finish this moon um let me go into it to know what I've got left this is 14 count Ada by the way and it's two over one let me zoom out oh yeah there's a border as well, that border I've got to do. It goes across the top of those two. And then that's it. And then I've just got October's, which fits here to do. But it's still in my key snap. But 2064 stitches wasn't bad. Um, I think this month's had something like 3,000, something like that, and gone. It's 96% complete, but I don't know how many stitches it had because I, when I upload each month, it's like the chart starts afresh. So what I do is the day before I know I'm going to stitch on it, on Pattern Keeper, I go in and I mark off everything that I've done before. Riley, can you sort them blinds out, please? Still glaring because he's left the blind half open. Thank you. Anyway. So yeah, I have to go in and I have to mark off everything that I've done up till now. So all of January, February, March. And if I want to mark down how many stitches I've done that day, I have to do it the day before. So yeah, so I don't know how many um, that month was. I don't know why I just got off there, because I need the next one. Right, the next one. Where's that gone? There it is. It's this one. Hey. It's artwork by Jim Warren, charted by Hayde. 
and this one's doing so so well at the moment because I want this finished by December so Kelly can have it but it's looking amazing if I'm honest I am having so much fun with it sorry my cross stitch just fell and gave you all a knock there we go yeah I'm having so much fun with this at the moment it's coming along so fast I have done 5,941 stitches on this in the past two weeks and this is where I am at. Now obviously I'll have put in before pictures so you can see but most of it I have filled in this uh, all the like not all of them but I have started filling in some of these squares um, I think it was one colour and the rest of them are something else. I've also been doing working my way down these stairs with one colour. I'll start at the top, just follow it all the way down. I don't think I've done anything over that side. No. And then there's a lot of this darker green that I did above this black. And I actually think I did some more of the black as well. But 5,941 stitches, I can't complain. It's on 25 count cream, even with. I think it's probably in the bag somewhere. But yeah, it's one over one full cross. And it's all CXC threads. I've had no issues with these threads at all. None. And talking of threads, I've actually got the last few actually on their way to me now for me to have the full 447 set as well as the all 35 of the new DMC colours. So then I can just pull out my projects and get on with it. Anyway, my new start. I know I shouldn't have and it is a really small new start but I've had this one a little while and I've had the fabric and I've got all the threads almost and I just I didn't know what else to work on you know and you just think do you know what I'll just start something new just it takes off that not boredom because cross stitch doesn't make you bored but just the I don't really feel like working on the ones I've got anyway this is the chart spit my words out I am not a craft hoarder I'm the curator of an extensive private craft supply collection it's hard reading that back to front <laughs> mm. That's back to front. I hope that's not going to be back to front for you guys. I don't think it will, but we'll see. So yeah, I made a really, really small start on that. You'll see how small. Um, this is... This is it. This is the middle of the chart, and I think the, the middle is where it says... This is um, the words extensive private, I think, right in the middle. And I didn't actually realize, this is 18 count Ada, by the way, so it's two over one. I didn't actually realize that a lot of the threads in this are blended. I'll show you the um, legend, the key, whatever you want to call it. I think that's it. Hold on. Yeah. So. This first page are all your single threads. Yes. So they're all single threads. Then you have... No. There's two there. And then you have this page. Up to there are all single threads. And then all of these are double. Blended, should I say. And then all of this page are blended as well the background because let me just this whole thing is stitched background included okay so i tried to eliminate that by having done it on black i mean i know this is kind of a brownie color but black's fine with me but a lot of these letters are blended threads as well but anyway, I thought it was really nice. And I've had it for quite some time now, I figured. Do you know what? 
I know I said no new starts, but I haven't exactly been true to that since the beginning of the year, have I? So yeah, so that is where I am at. And that was um, 727 and 9 something, I believe. It's meant to be a blended thread. But I don't think you can tell because the colours aren't actually that far off each other. But yeah, so that's that one. And it's a paper chart. So that's a little bit um, time consuming. So I don't know how many stitches I do whenever I work on that one. Right, this next one is also one that I haven't... This is the one I said I haven't touched in uh, quite some time. I mean, I started it in 2021, 17th of November. So it's been nearly two years. And it is Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers. Now this was using, no that's not a full one, I'll show you a full one so you can see. Come here. KLT Charting, um, they did a thread called Galactic Quest and it's like this blue, pink, purple, subtle colours, gorgeous to work with, absolutely gorgeous as it stitches up. And this is on um, an under the sea fabrics. It's an opal linen in the colour in the colourway iced grapes, and it's a twenty eight count, so it's two over two. I'll show you the bit I did yesterday first before I show you the whole thing. My needle, don't fall out. Thank you. Right, this is where this is what I did yesterday all of this right here I moved over dropped this down some more and then I did a little bit more down here and I did 653 stitches it doesn't even look like that much to be honest but yeah those colors don't they look just awesome so subtle the way the colors change as you stitch I love it let me just show you the whole thing because it looks Fabulous. Honestly. I love stitching this every time I get it out. I might leave it out actually and do some more out this week. I know my pandemic really needs to come out. That poor thing has been neglected. Okay, this one. This is my adopted one. I actually have another one on the way from here. She posted one afterwards on my... I left it for a day or so, but nobody responded, so I just thought, you know what, I don't mind. The other one's a fairly simple one, it's not as big. Now I don't have a cover picture for this, um, all I can do is show you what's there now, what was there when it was sent to me, and they'd actually, whoever started it had been parking the threads. But she says the top half of the chart was missing. But ideally I needed the top half of the chart to know where she come down. Just so I can match it up. So this, I'm just going to fold it a second. Just because there's a bit below. Which is the bit I've done. This was the bit that was done already. It's called A Village Life by... Anchor. It's an anchor kit. And then anything below there is what I've done now. And like I said, she parked Fred, so I've got to get round to sorting. There was a load over here, and I've just literally picked them up, used them, and filled it in. Um, this. I don't know. I think it's an eighteen count. You know. It's not 14, I know that. Feels like an 18. So yeah, I've done all of this so far. And it looks fabulous, but I don't have a cover picture. And then down here, there's an old style red car. So yeah, I haven't done any of the top half. It just came to me like that and I said I'd finish it for the lady. But yeah. 
I pick it up every day, do a little bit more. So yeah, that's my adopted whip. I don't think I can even, I don't think there's a picture of it on um, Facebook. I think it was only the picture of the, um, what had been done already. Spill my, spit my words out even. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, actually, yes there is. This is what it's supposed to look like. I told you this is car, an old style one. Let's get the window off. So yeah, so I gotta do from here down. But it looks awesome. And there's been a lot of back stitch in the top half that she, this, whoever, I think she said she got it from a charity, a charity shop already half done. But all the, the, the cross hatch thingies on the windows, I can't think what they're called. They're all done in back stitch. And then there's a little bit of back stitch and I think in the trees too. But yeah. Yeah, it looks like I've got a load of back stitch to do when it's done as well because of all these windows down here too. <laughs> but I don't mind finishing it for her. And then there was another one. I don't know if it's still on here. Yeah, this one. This is the one that no one responded on. It's partially stitched. I think there's some of the body and a tiny bit of the tail done already, but that shouldn't take long. Really shouldn't. So I've said I'll do that one as well. And it's a DMC. So I've just got to wait for that one to arrive. And then, because I offered to do that for her, bless her, when it arrived, there was extra stuff in the envelope, or the packaging, shall we call it. And I have, I said to her, what, what did you want me to do with them? Do you want me to stitch them for you too? She said, no, I sent you these just to say thank you. Bless her, she didn't have to. Honestly, she didn't have to. I love stitching. It's kind of a win-win situation. I love stitching. She gets hers back. So I got a hoop. It's a, one of those plastic ones. It pops out. And then she sent me this little book. Create your own cross stitch. And this gives you four different designs. Now you have to pick which ones you want to do. Because there are two pieces of fabric. She sent me... Um, actually I don't know why the patterns are in the book because they're in here now I've got some threads um, two pieces of fabric that's why you have to pick one black one white and they look like 14 count yeah. and then in there as well oh, fabric. Ah, I didn't notice they're double sided so you've got this one and that one that one and the butterflies and then you've got no problema and be yourself Yay. and then you've got today's the day and some cacti by the look of it so eight designs I think that was to choose from but it all came bless her she sent it all to me just for stitching that for her which she absolutely did not did not have to do so thank you to her anyway oh my goodness there's a couple in there I would like do you know what I'm not even going to wrestle with it right now that can stay that can stay there anyway the next three is three correct Whoa, don't fall off. I forgot to say. The the mini all cats go to heaven, the one I'm stitching for Kelly. I have actually colour completed 16 colours on there. And I think it's 89 colours altogether. So I'm not doing too bad. Yeah, so next my stamped kits. Now this one is one I did in my stitch with me. So if you haven't seen it, you won't know I've started it. But it is The Simpsons from VIP Cross Stitch. I love this. I grew up with The Simpsons. 
1989. I was 11, 12 when they first came out. That seems like such a long time ago. But yeah, I've always loved The Simpsons. Behave. Let's try to pull my needle out. It's only a small start, but like I said, it's what I did in my Stitch With Me last... Not this week, just gone the week before. So yeah, my little start is Homer's Hand. Look the colour. At first when I pulled it out, it looked rather orange and I was thinking, oh my goodness, this is going to be one of those that um, just doesn't look right. But once I stitched his hand and it kind of just sat there, it looks awesome. And I can't wait. There's a lot of block colours. So yeah, that's half of it. I'll, I'll scroll it up for you so that you can see the whole thing. So... The Simpsons, all the way down to there. So yeah, there are lots of block colours on here. And I've noticed just lately, I'm hoping it's not one of those that doesn't wash out, but the ink seems to be extremely clear. But the fabric feels the same as normal, so I could just test it on here. Um, that was something I was meant to share with you guys the other week. Hold on guys, hold on, hold on. I've got to find somewhere to put it. One of my kits. Is it that one? Is it that one? I have three, sorry, I have three or four kits. No, it's not that one. On 18 count. They're all little, like this one nothing falls out. They're all little like that one. I actually spot tested one. Give me a second. Because I've put them all to one side. Oh my goodness, what did I do with them? Do you know what? I think I might have put them away. No, there's one. Is that the one? Nope, that's not the one either. Where's the fourth one? No idea. I need to sort all that out. That's why it's all there to be sorted. I have no idea. But anyway, it was a kit just like this one. And I took the top of the fabric and I just put a bit of water on it. Boy, did it soak it up because it went mm, and just down into the top of my picture. But yeah, it washed off. And that was an 18 count. So fingers crossed. That means they've sorted the issue with the ink not washing off. Right, my next one. This is one I only unboxed the other day, but it is so, so gorgeous. This is from Outdoor Tide, as you can tell. I always write on them because I never, ever remember where I've had them from. So I always write on, on these charts where I've had it from. But isn't he adorable? And the collars were just... Oh, yeah. So... Another small start. I don't count these as my new starts because these are stamped kits. They were sent for review and they like me to start them and do a stitch with me with them. So I have to start them. Whether I'll get round to, you know, at some point pulling them out and making massive progress, I'm, I'm going to try. But this is my small, small start. It doesn't look so small. It is 11 count. But yeah, that's the... That's 996, I know that colour. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really is gorgeous. There's a few black colours on this one too. Until um, you get sort of down round here. But yeah, all that yellow is 996. And it just, it's homemade for easy stitching while I was cooking dinner today. So yeah. And you see what I mean about the ink being crystal clear. But I think it is, um, I think they have fixed the problem. Because it even smells like the ink from the 11 count kits that, you know, had the issues washing off on the mating count ones. So, I have a feeling this one is going to progress quite well. And the thing I noticed as well, because these threads are all on these cards, they don't put numbers on the chart, on the picture anymore. There's no numbers anywhere 
on the canvas. None. Because all the DMC codes are written on there and all you need is the DMC code from there. Um, even the key is so, so easy to read. It is crystal clear. So I don't know what they've changed, but it's amazing. I am loving my new, my latest kits. That one's probably going to stay out as well. I have a ton that could stay out really, you know, but it is what it is. Right, no, not down there. My last one, I'll show it you in the bag. It is this one, the baby elephant. Elephant and Miss Bunny, they've called it. Now... This is from One Day Saving. My handwriting is atrocious though. Have you ever tried to write on a slippy plastic bag? I did write on the bag, didn't I? Nope, it's on the paper. But I wrote on the paper that was on top of the threads and everything in my hand. Anyway, this one is going to be turned into kind of like a birth sampler for my eldest and his girlfriend for their baby. Let me just take that off right it's in a hoop just because I can just pick it up then without having to pop it back in the hoop so it's a small start but all that is it white no it's like a very 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 faint whitey grey so I've done all that in his belly so far this should take like next to no time and then I'm just going to put name date of birth and then if she wants, she can have the weight as well, how much she weighs when she was born, which isn't going to be till March, so I've got plenty of time. It's only a small one, but I need to pull my finger out on the Winnie the Pooh one. I haven't touched it in a couple of days. I did a few stitches this morning, that's why I haven't shown you, because I'm just literally filling in the, the outline like rain Pooh Bear and stuff. But yeah... That's on 14 count, by the way, so it's 2 over 1. I'm liking the 14 count kits at the minute. And the chart is just on um, a shiny piece of paper. It's not even paper. It's like on one of them shiny things, so it's well durable. So I might just give it away when it's done. Right. As far as my stitching goes, that is it. It's not been a bad couple of weeks. Not as much as I would have liked, but next weekend, so it's 24 hours of cross stitch, I think. Yeah, the 20th to the 22nd, isn't it? So, I'm team sleep, so I don't do 24 hours in one go. I'm too old for that. Mm, just It would mess me around way too much. So I'm team sleep, so I'm going to start on Friday, and the one I'm going to work on... Is Kelly's I am going to try and get as much as I possibly can done on this in those 24 hours I've worked out I need to do about eight hours every day but if I do so many in the morning then do dinner do a little bit in the afternoon tea and then back on it again after tea time sort of you know evening I should be able to get the eight hours a day in and let's see how far I can get this in three days. The more I do, the better for me because it's less. I'm still at about 300 because I use Stitch Pal. Even though Amy said to me Stitch Pal wanted to know too much information. I don't think it did when I entered it. If I did, I probably didn't put the truth in. Because I just don't like people having my exact information. So I've probably lied about my birthday or something. Anyway, it's in Stitch Pal, and if I put in Stitch Pal the date I want it finished and how many stitches are left to do, it'll tell me how many I need to do every day. Now, at the, I, when I had COVID four weeks ago, whenever it was, I got behind because there was three or four days I just couldn't stitch. So that bumped my stitches, my daily stitches up to something like 350 a day. Whereas I was down to 300. So I've been trying to pull it back. I do more than the daily recommended stitches. And I'm trying to pull it back. I think I'm at 328 at the minute. You'd think I'd be lower the amount I've done in the past two weeks. But not. So yeah, I'm hoping that by doing that 24 hours of cross stitch, I can really pull it back. 
so that I have less to do every day but I still want to go over if that makes sense so let's say I get it down to 199 stitches a day I can average three to four hundred so if I still pop it up it means I can shrink it a bit as I get further into it does that even make sense probably not but yeah that's all my stitching so I'm going to try and get as many much done as I can in that 24 hours of cross stitch so um, the only other thing I've been doing I have touched the blanket for my brother but it still doesn't show much because like I'm still on this portion of my mom so you can't see anything and then I've also been having a go at I've got something on it um, dot mandalas so this is what I've done that's my thumb it looks awesome from there but when it's close up I think my yellow is a little bit too watery it's left the lump in the middle and the outside is a little bit faded it is not perfect I will tell you that now my line just isn't straight it's quite hard you know trying to get your lines straight even though I drew them on with pencil I've got to rub that out but yeah I did um, both sides exactly the same and then what I want to do is what I did on that piece of paper live laugh and love written on there I don't know how we'll see I haven't decided yet but from a distance it looks good doesn't it <laughs> I enjoyed it anyway I just need to sort the paint so getting the right consistency can be a pain in the bum you know anyway don't fall over I've got a lot to put away now that's it from me it's okay I like to look around because last time as soon as I turned off the camera I knew what I'd missed which was the canvas I meant to show you last weekend but this weekend I think I have got everything okay well thank you to you guys for spending a little bit of time with me and letting me share with you the progress on my project I am going to try and get some more of my county cross stitch projects out I am missing them really bad um, yeah if you enjoyed the video please I would greatly appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up on your way out comments questions anything leave them in the uh, comments section anything you want to know about any of my projects let me know and I'll let you know um, other than that that's it uh, as always then guys take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys